Hi uh, everybody, and I am back to talk more about Scott Pilgrim vs. The World! See, this LP I did, it's been long done and over with, but back in 2012, in around September or August or something like that, uh, they announced a new piece of DLC that was going to have an extra playable character in the form of Wallace Wells, Scott Pilgrim's big gay roommate, and it was going to add something that was critically missing from the original game online multiplayer so now you can play with any of your friends from all over the world in four player or two player or three player multiplayer and uh, share the game with each other and all that jazz the DLC is bundled together with each other so if you want Wallace Wells you're gonna have online play if you want online play you're gonna have Wallace Wells and it costs a whopping 400 gamer points or Xbox uh, bucks and I don't know what it is for the PlayStation Network, but, uh, yeah, it shouldn't cost money at all. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. This was announced back in 2012, and we heard that, we, we knew about this DLC for a long time. It was delayed and delayed and delayed, and finally it came out in 2013. And, uh, Wallace Wells is not the greatest additional character. He doesn't really add anything to the character roster. Uh, he doesn't have any unique special moves. He has Steven Stills' unique special moves. And even his ability to summon Knives Chow is exactly the same as Steven Stills. His running animation is the Arthur uh, Dungeons and Dragons, or not Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts uh, kind of run. He has the exact same animations as Steven Stills, minus like his taunt and his grab. But it's very lazy. And even when you beat the game with Wallace Wells, well, take a look at his fantastic ending. Yeah, that must have took a long time to write. Must be hard coming up with, like, four sentences that apply to Wallace having a victory. Uh, come on. <laughs> Wallace Wells by himself is not a great DLC character. If you're a big fan of the character and you really want to play as him, he's there. But I guess the big deal is the online multiplayer. And, um, yeah, here's the thing. I was complaining about the fact that it wasn't in the game originally. I don't see people rushing out to pay 400 gamer points in order to buy this online DLC and play Scott Pilgrim with friends maybe three times their whole their whole life. Uh, <laughs> the thing with Scott Pilgrim is it is part RPG, part beat em up, and so if you want things to be a little bit more balanced and even, you sort of have to erase your battle data and reduce your characters back to level 1. Otherwise, going through level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 as a level 16 character, it's pretty easy peasy, and especially if the people you're playing with are also level 16, uh, there's no real challenge, even on Supreme Master Mode. Maybe if they added a traditional difficulty mode that doesn't have a level up system where everyone had a basic difficulty, it might have been interesting, but it's not very challenging and it's not very rewarding, and I don't really care about playing with other people online and uh, again it's it seems to be a for a first time basis where you guys are gonna play it for the first time and I would recommend that but my big complaint and I just don't think this is right I don't think it should cost money to have online DLC I pay for Xbox Live Gold you know that's something a month that I have to pay and it lets me play every game for free well, not for free, but it lets me play every game online. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, uh, anything. Gears of War, Call of Duty, whatever. And to pay more money to play something that I can't in good conscience convince my friends to buy that I don't like playing with complete strangers isn't satisfying to me. If it was built into the game and it was part of the overall package and it was like that when you bought the game, it would have been perfect. It would have been totally fine. But the fact that you have to pay for it after the fact that you've bought in the game 
I just I can't recommend that in good conscience. Also, it's got a really finicky uh, network system. I swear, many times there are people playing this thing still. Uh, I was trying to record footage for it, and I just could not get a game together. When I initially got the DLC, I couldn't get a game together. There were a lot of network issues on my end, and I just found it really cumbersome trying to get a game to start in the first place, let alone, uh, you know, playing it relatively well. Uh, some matches I played were really laggy and slow, and I felt like my button inputs were really delayed. Uh, I just found there was no challenge because I was a level 16 character, I didn't want to erase that data, and all the people I was playing with were also level 16 because they've had the game since 2010. This is a very, very old game now. <laughs> this has been around for at least three years, and the, well, two years, but the idea that people would want to come back to this and pay more money to play online multiplayer, I just don't see it being a big seller, and I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. I just wanted to finish this LP to tell you that Wallace Wells, pretty useless. He's not, he doesn't add anything to Scott Pilgrim. And uh, the online DLC, if you want to play with a friend over who's, you know, who doesn't live with you, the, the option is there, but you have to pay. You can only play level one for free. Level one is free, but how many times can you play level one without that getting boring? It's the easiest level in the game. You know, Matthew Patel is not a challenge. Uh, it just seems like a really high price, you know? Maybe if it was, like, 100 gamer points. I can't justify 400. That's the price of Sonic & Knuckles, Sonic 2, uh, Doom for Xbox Live Arcade. I can't, I and mean, Doom's an awesome game. Uh, <laughs> but I cannot recommend this DLC. I just wanted to make this video to tell you about it, to warn you guys uh, that, you know, there's a new piece of DLC in 2013, a little late, guys, and uh, <laughs> it's there, but I would not recommend it. So now my LP is complete again, unless they re announce another DLC for some reason. But uh, that is Scott Pilgrim's Wallace Wells Online DLC. Anywho, toodles.